Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here, and today I'm showing you how to create some blowing grass in Adobe After Effects. And really what we're gonna be focusing on is an effect called CC Slant, and what you can do with it if you just work with it a little bit and sort of let it take control. So what we're gonna be doing is we're taking this, this normally still JPEG right here, and we're gonna be making it look like it's blowing in the wind, which is really neat for certain animations um, that you might be creating. Maybe you'll have like people behind this or something. You just wanna make this still object look like it's moving. So that's all we're gonna be doing. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is just create myself a new composition that's blank, and then we're gonna go ahead and fill it with a white solid in the background like so. And then over here in the project panel, I have just a vector image of grass here. So let me drag and drop that down here. And so what I did, I just, I just took it and scaled it up and I chose the top one. So grab it, hold shift, so it keeps its aspect ratio and then drop it right here so that it fills up the entire piece like so. And so now we have this piece of grass and it's just sitting here. And you see if we go forward, it does absolutely nothing. So what we wanna do is we're gonna add our CC slant to this top layer right here. And now you'll see that if I move this back and forth, it's not doing anything productive right here. This doesn't look realistic at all. And that's because the floor is in the wrong place right now, I believe, yeah, it's in the center of the image. So what we wanna do is move it to the actual floor of the footage. And the floor just means where it's going to slant on. So whenever I turn on the slant uh, grader, everything above this goes to the right, everything below this goes to the left. So what we wanna do is we wanna bring it right to here. So we're gonna go over to the floor, click that little button and then drag it up and get it, we don't have to be perfect, just as close as we can. See it's assisting us by jumping sort of into the middles here. So we're gonna drop it right there. And now if you see whenever I use the slant, now this looks a whole lot more realistic. Um, it looks like the, the grass is actually blowing. However, I don't wanna have to individually animate this over time. I want it to do it itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little expression. And this is a great expression just to memorize because it's so simple, but it allows you to add some amazing effects to your work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down into the effects here. So we're gonna click on the vector, go to effects, CC slant, and what we have right here is the slant effect down here, exactly at the same as up here. But what we wanna do is we want to go ahead and add ourselves an expression here. So we're gonna hold down this Alt key, click on the slant button at the top, and then you'll see that it's highlighted right here. And all we're gonna type, this is really simple, is wiggle and then point, let's go with like, a, let's go 0 0.8, 10. So that means it's gonna be moving somewhere around 0 0.8 or every 0.8 seconds it's going to move anywhere between zero and 10. So you can see that it's going up and you can see the number and it'll never surpass 10. That's our hard limiter. So if we you know, went up to like 100, this will be, become a lot more of a drastic effect here, maybe a lot more of a windy day and it gets, starts to look a little bit more unrealistic when you do that. So what we want is just subtlety. So maybe around 10 um, and then this is how fast that sort of goes around. So if we increase this, it'll be sort of more jittery, where if we decrease this, it's going to be really, really almost, actually that's like not even moving at all. You can see there's a very, very tiny, tiny, tiny movement here. So what I like is somewhere maybe around 0.7. And so that's really the entire expression here. It's just like how quickly you want it to be going and then how extreme. So how far from zero is the right side and then how often it's going, you know, uh, basically updating how fast it's gonna be going through those numbers is on the left side. And so just input something like 0.7 and 10, and now you have the effect and it's moving on its own. And this will go off into infinity. I can have it sit here for hours and it'll just keep doing this in a random fashion, which is perfect for things like the wind because wind is extremely random. And now we have this little effect here going and we can add whatever animation we want behind it. And it looks like the grass is natural, it's moving, it's animated, instead of just without this, where it just looks like a plain piece of paper that's pretty boring, or plain layer that's pretty boring. That is really it on the effect. Like I said, this is all it is, is really CC slant, moving the floor, and then this expression here. Memorize this expression if you're working in After Effects. It is a lifesaver. Anytime you need something to be randomized and you don't wanna have to animate that randomness, just type wiggle and then some numbers into here and play around with it until it looks right and you can never have to touch it again and it'll animate itself. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna give you every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, See ya.